hello welcome to the next session here we are going to study some important terms in AC fundamentals so this is the outline uh, of the uh, today's presentation at the end of this session learners are able to define average value RMS value peak factor and form factor derive average value and RMS value of an alternating quantity in an alternating quantity the positive and negative half cycle is exactly same okay so here we are going to study the average value and we know that in alternating quantity positive and negative half cycle is exactly same with opposite magnitude hence average value if we take over a full cycle the positive and negative value will get cancelled and the average value is zero to calculate the average value of alternating quantity only half cycle is considered hence to calculate the average value we have to consider only half cycle there are two methods to find out the average value one is called as a graphical method and second one is called as analytical method graphical method is suitable uh, whose equation is not known but analytical method is suitable whose uh, equation that is the which the waveform which can be represented by using the equations so let us see how we can calculate the average value using graphical method let this is the ac waveform which is sampled over the half cycle okay that is i1 i2 i3 in value are taken on this waveform for the half cycle at equal interval that is t1 t2 t3 likewise up to tn and the distance between each interval is same that is at the regular interval the waveform is sampled okay so let us have the i1 i2 up to in corresponding to the time time t1 t2 dash 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 up to tm respectively as shown in the figure so how will calculate the average average value i average is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 dash 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 up to i n that is the summation of all instantaneous values over sampled instantaneous values over the half cycle divided by number of values taken that is n so i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus dash 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 up to i n divided by n is called as i average keep in mind i uh, average value is always indicated by capital letter with a suffix average here it is indicated as i average similarly i can calculate the average values of voltage as v average is equal to v1 v2 v3 that is the sum of instantaneous values divided by number of values over the half cycle so using graphical method we can determine the uh, uh, average values now let us see how we can define the average values for and using analytical method so i average is always equal to the area under the curve over the half cycle okay so if i take this area under the curve over the half cycle divided by length of base over the half cycle that is length of the base is from 0 to pi that is the length is pi okay so area under curve how we will calculate the area under curve we have to calculate the area under curve we have to take the integration of this curve okay so integration of this curve means 0 to pi i d omega t because x axis because if we see the x axis with respect to omega t hence integration from 0 to pi i d omega t so in this case the AC, the waveform the ac waveform is a sinusoidal that is equation is what i max sin theta so i average is equal to if i take this 1 upon pi on this side 1 upon pi 0 to pi i d omega t but for a sinusoidal current equation is given by i is equal to i am sin theta or i max sin theta okay so in uh, this is in sinusoidal ways in square wave it can be given as it is equal to uh, i m u of t okay and in in case of uh, you can say uh, in, uh, in case of a uh, triangular wave the waveform uh, the, the equation may be different so i average is equal to 1 upon pi i m sin omega t i m is the constant value so we'll take this i m at outside to the integration it is i m by pi integration of sin omega omega t is the minus cos omega t and limit is from 0 to pi putting the upper limit minus cos pi minus of minus cos 0 that is upper limit minus lower limit minus of cos pi is equal to 1 and minus of minus cos 0 is also equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 will become 2 so it becomes 2 i m by pi so 2 by pi is equal to 0 0.637 i m so average value is equal to 0 0.637 times of the maximum value in case of sinusoidal wave okay so keep in mind the word sinusoidal wave i average is equal to 0 0.637 times of the maximum value 
Now let us see what is the RMS value. The magnitude of alternating current varies instant to instant, whereas the magnitude of direct current remains constant with respect to time. Okay, this this we saw in the definitions of uh, AC and DC. It is necessary to have a common measurement process for both AC and DC. Hence, it is necessary to have a common base measurement for AC and DC both. Such measurement is only possible. Such measurement is only possible by considering the effect of both quantities in given time. So, uh, such measurement is only possible when both are producing the same effect. One of such of effect is what heating in the resistance. Okay, when a current is passing through the resistance, it always generates the heat. So, we can say effect is heating in the resistance. So, the effective value or RMS value of the alternating current is defined by, defined by, it is uh, given by the direct current, sorry, it, it should be it is, okay. It is given by the direct current which when flowing through a given circuit for a given time produces the same amount of heat that is produced by the alternating current when flowing through the same circuit by the same time. That is, it is nothing but equal to the, it is equal to the direct current current which produces the same amount of heat which is generated by the alternating which is generated by the alternating current when flowing through the same circuit for the same time okay means in both cases the effect of the heating must be same for a same circuit and for a same time of a period then the dc current is equal to the ac rms value of the ac current so there are two methods again graphical method and analytical method to determine this so in case of graphical method so in case of graphical method uh, let us have a, a current waveform. This is the current waveform which is shown here, and we are taking the samples over the half cycle. Okay, so the samples are taken over the half cycle. Uh, so uh, when it gives the values i1, i2, in corresponds to time t1, t2, tn uh, respectively as shown in figure. Let the current is passing through the resistance R ohm for the duration of time t. Okay. So what will be the heat generated in the first time period? The heat generated in the first time period is equal to the current at that period is equal to i1 i1 square r t by n why i am taking the t by n because this waveform is divided into the n number of intervals hence the time is the time corresponds to the one interval is t by n so i1 square r t by n joule h2 is equal to i2 square r t by n joule similarly similarly heat produced in the nth interval is hn heat produced in the nth interval is hn i n square r t by n joule so how we'll calculate the total heat produced total heat produced is equal to sum of the heat produced in each interval that is i1 square r t by n plus i2 square r uh, t by n plus i3 square r t by n likewise up to i n square r t by n so if r by t is taken as a common what will remain i1 square plus i2 square plus i3 square plus i n square divided by n what it what it looks like it looks like sir, sum of average of square values sum of uh, it is the nothing but the average value average of square values okay so if the same current is passing if the i current is passing through the same resistance for the same time of period then dc current is passing th then it is h is equal to i square rt where i is the dc current r is the same resistance and same time if this h is equal to the is equal to the heat generated in case of ac then we can say i square rt is equal to rt so i1 square plus i2 square plus i3 square dash dash up to i n square divided by n so rt rt will get cancelled i square is equal to this term and if we take the i i is equal to under root i1 square plus i2 square plus i3 square plus so okay now you can understand why this is called as a root mean square because these are the square value whose average is taken that is mean is taken so square value summation of square value divided by n is nothing but the mean value of the square and it the overall root is taken hence root mean square root mean square so it is known as the root mean square values so similarly the rms values of voltage can be calculated using this formula that is v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square up to vn square divided by n so how will defer, de determine it is using analytically so let us have instantaneous alternating current expressed by i is equal to i m sin omega t so this red color waveform is indicating i is equal to i m sin omega t whose maximum value is equal to i m taking the square 
uh, of this waveform if i take the square of this waveform for each instantaneous value taking the square and if it is plotting for the positive side you will get this type of waveform which is the i square waveform okay i square waveform it will reduces to zero here the value of neg is negative but negative into negative is again become positive so this is the square waveform i square i m square sin square omega t okay and let a small interval is taken as a d omega t so i is equal to as always what under root according to the definition of under uh, it, it should be the mean value and its square main mean value of the squared wave divided by length of the half wave so mean value of square wave that is nothing but the area of the squared wave over the half cycle area of this squared wave that is square wave is what i square is equal to i m square sin square omega t so 0 to pi i m square sin square omega t d omega t and the length over the base period is equal to pi and its roots is taken so i m square root of i m square is will become i m is a constant value hence we can take an outside the integ integration i m divided by this pi is taken outside this integration so it will become root pi under root sin square omega uh, integration of sin square omega t d omega t from 0 to pi so to take the sin square omega t to be substitute sin square omega t is equal to 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2 again this 2 is taken outside so it becomes 2 uh, under root 2 pi so if we take the integration of 1 minus cos 2 omega t with respect to 2 omega t it will become omega t minus cos in integration of cos is 1 uh, integration of 1 is omega t integration of cos is sin 2 omega t divided by 2 so and if i substitute the limits so pi minus sin pi so it will sin pi will become 0 then 0 minus sin 0 again this term will become 0 see hence what is remaining in the bracket only root pi will remain in the bracket so root pi from the numerator and root pi from the denominator will get cancelled so i is equal to i m divided by root 2 that is 0 0.707 times of the maximum value what it indicate the rms value keep in mind the rms value is always indicated by the capital letter i is equal to i m under root I am under root 0 0.707 times of the maximum value or you can say uh, I am is equal to root 2 times of the RMS value. So um, similarly for voltage I can define V is equal to Vm by root 2 0.707 times of the maximum value. It is always indicated RMS values are always indicated by capital letter. Most of the measuring instruments indicates the RMS values. So next we will define what is the peak factor peak factor crest factor or amplitude factor how it is defined it is defined as the ratio of maximum value of an alternating quantity to the rms value of an alternating quantity so how will you define it it is defined as the maximum value of the RMS, uh, maximum value of the alternating quantity divided by rms value of the alternating quantity that is im divided by i for the sinusoidal value keep in mind this is only divided for sinusoidal value for sinusoidal value kp is equal to im by i so i is equal to im divided by root 2 just we derived that this value irms is equal to im divided by root 2 so im im will be cancelled so kp is equal to root 2 that is 1.414 times so okay 1.414 so kp for the sinusoidal quantity is always fixed it is 1.414 next we will define the form factor it is the it is the defi it is defined as the ratio of rms value of the alternating quantity to the average value so rms upon average and we know that rms is equal to 0 0.70 times of maximum value in case of sinusoidal quantity and it is equal to 0.637 times of the maximum value in case of sinusoidal quantity so im im will get cancelled it is equal to 1.11 this form factor is always equal to 1.11 for the uh, that is equal to the 1.11 for the uh, alternate uh, for the sinusoidal quantity but non sinus for non sinusoidal or other than sinusoidal wave this form factor may be different sorry here should not be peak factor it should be form factor okay thank you